currently standing is the oil and gas hub here at the Takwade Harbor where we have Ghanaians who have been skilled enough to actually go into the modeling of key components of infrastructure needed at Ghana's offshore oil operation. And all this welding uh, going on is what today has contributed to a landmark construction of the Pagan uh, system, which is actually meant to actually facilitate uh, operation of the Pamikoma uh, FPSO. I have the uh, marketing and PR for the Takwade Harbor to actually tell me what exactly is significant here at the port. Thank you very much, Casey. Um, I think today the port of Takwade has also chunked another success in our vision to be the uh, dominant oil and gas services hub uh, of West Africa. What is happening here is that um, Talo um, contracted the construction of some suction piles or suction anchors to a local company, Belmer 7. And uh, the suction piles are ready and the loader, as you can see from here, they've loaded about seven suction piles that is going to a Jubilee field. But what is significant about today is that for the first time in the history of Ghana's oil and gas industry, the top side model of an FPSO has been manufactured locally. I'm talking about the picking system which regulates the flow of the hydrocarbons and adds to the processing of the hydrocarbons and the hang-off platform. And these are being done to restore the to full capacity the FPSO requirement. But um, with all this thing happening inside here at the Tech what does it mean to your revenue? What does it mean to the image uh, you want to have out there for the port when it comes to attracting, I mean, uh, I mean, fleet to this particular port? I mean, like I said, you know, the, the vision of uh, the port of Takwadi since 2007, when oil was discovered in commercial quantity, is to be uh, the dominant oil and gas services hub of West Africa. So in line with that management, um, leased out some space to oil support gas companies. And as you can see, this is one of them, Belmet 7. We are currently in the Belmet 7 yard. We have GE, FMC technology, uh, Springfield, everybody is coming on board. We have uh, the Badge Fridge and some local companies that are also supporting the oil and gas industry. What this does to the industry is that uh, it positions Takwadi to attract more oil and gas uh, companies into our entry so that logistically we can cost efficiently support the oil and gas production, not only in, in Ghana, but also the whole of West Africa. In terms of revenue, what does it do to, I mean, this whole activity going on inside the port, what does it do to revenue? I, I must say that uh, the discovery of oil and gas has been a blessing to the port of Takwadi. But so definitely it has impacted positive, positively on our revenue inflows. All right. So, I mean, that is the... Uh, observations by the uh, marketing and PR officer here at the Takwade Port. But we have uh, the officer who actually supervised the manufacturing of this key component of the oil and gas industry at Satsi uh, 7, uh, Chief Loss, who is actually making sure that the work is actually done and done proper. Uh, Chief, uh, what can you tell me about the various components that you have manufactured and the significance of it? Um, so far, we have fabricated uh, seven suction piles. A hang-off platform that you can see over there, and uh, which has been this two has been uh, completed, and uh, a pigging skid which is under construction for now. Yep. But in terms of its relevance or its importance to the FPSO coming um what is this thing going to do to it? What, what, what role are the two playing? Uh, the two structures are going to be mounted on the FPSO. You know we are. But we know that we heard of uh, a challenge on the FPSO Kwame Nkuma having problem with eight turrets and also causing low, low production. Now to maximize their production, they have to do so many stuff. So for us, for we as a sub-T7, what we are doing was uh, to fabricate a, a hang-off platform, a pigging skid and then a and then, uh, suction pulse for uh, the suction pulse to anchor a, a convoy on the FPSO. So more of like a the oil of loading lines you now they are going to help with the uh, oil of loading lines so that's the main purpose of these structures and, 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 i mean we, we, we're talking about local content local content what percentage of the people who are actually working here on this project are Ghanaians? for it to say yes i mean our local content aspirations are coming to life 
Okay, with the fabrication of these items in country here, I would say 100% of the fabrication were done by local fabricators and uh, uh, welders and uh, what, are, what have you, painters and yeah, 100%. Thank you, Tiflo. So, I mean, we'll just move and see if we can talk to some of the uh, Ghanaian technicians who have actually helped in making sure that this actually come uh, to life. A few years ago, they will bring expert to do this work. But as you can see, we are all busy. Only Ghanaian welders and fabricators are doing this. So that mentality, I think it's over. It's about time our leaders will have to realize that we can do it even better than them. And it's true. We do it better than them. Well, thank you. So, I mean, basically what it means over here is that the assertion that the Ghanaian does not have the capacity to actually play a significant role in the oil and gas industry is something that must give way uh, because this team of Ghanaians have actually shown the way that Ghana's oil and gas industry is actually in the hands of Ghanaians.